hey guys so i'm back with another video as i promised i'm trying to upload every week so let's hope that that remains like i need i need video suggestions asap please so for those of you that don't know me that are new to my channel hi my name is brianna i am 19 years old from the title of the video you already know what this is about secret is out for the ones that you know me yes i am pregnant i have not posted it anywhere on any of my platforms or social medias just because i don't know i just kind of wanted to pop out you know yeah so this video is basically gonna be of how i found out i was pregnant um i mean if i don't make sense in the video i am so sorry but like you know i just I, i've said it like once or twice already but pregnancy brain is a real thing homegirl and i have not really ate a meal right now so i'm hungry i'm starving i just need to go eat you know but anyways i try to make sense as much as i could if i didn't ask me down below and i'll answer any questions that you guys have but yeah that's what life threw at me let's see what life wants to throw at me this time if you know you know i'm just kidding but yeah um without further ado let's just get right into the video Okay, so I am so sorry if this is all over the place. Like, I'm trying so hard to make sense. So that was just my little disclaimer. I did not plan or prepare for this at all. So just bear with me, okay? Just a little starter point. I am 10 weeks at the moment. So that's about two months and a half. My pregnancy was not planned, but I'm very much happy about it. So just going to throw that out there. So let's backtrack a little bit just because it's kind of relevant and it's kind of like not funny but like it's crazy how things happen you know how life happens um so basically i got pregnant in december and just so that you guys are a little informed how pregnancy works it's actually 10 months in total you're pregnant for like nine months but they count your last menstrual menstrual cycle okay so i had my i got my period december so i did not no, i was pregnant so all this crazy stuff happened in like the end of december i was already having in mind that i was gonna move it was the week of new year's right okay so i took a pregnancy test and it was actually negative that's why i proceeded to do the move because i didn't want to like move back in like you know me being pregnant like i don't know i just didn't want that to happen if i would have known back then i probably would have not done the big move but yeah it came out negative so i proceeded to do the big move so i ended up here and it's just funny because if you watched my last video if not go watch it i basically showed you how to do my makeup basically okay it's kind of funny because at the end of the video i i was talking about how i wanted to be like more consistent and all this other stuff and i was like but life always throws something in my face right you know life happens let's see what life wants to throw at me this time and a baby <laughs> um nothing to, not that there's anything wrong with it but you know i just wasn't expecting it okay so the anyways i did the big move over here i did not know i was pregnant let's talk about symptoms so my first very symptom that you could say is that i was just constantly tired always sleeping literally 9 to 12 hours a day which if you know me i do not sleep that much i struggle to get my full eight hours of sleep sometimes like literally and i used to like always be active it was just weird to me because i'm just not used to like sleeping so much but i kind of thought i was just kind of like falling into depression and stuff just because like i did such a drastic change in my life you know and i just moved to a whole new place like you know and just life so i thought i was just depressed and so i didn't think much of it so then um my period is very regular like to the point where sometimes it would be like on the dot the same day every month type of thing um if not around there so january 9th was when i was supposed to begin my period and i didn't and i was just like um okay that's weird but i didn't think much of it yet because you know sometimes periods want to be a day or two late at least for me like they were very regular so sometimes they would you know change especially like you know seasons and whatnot so i didn't think anything of it but i did notice that I was cramping, but I was not like bleeding. So I was like, I was like, um, okay, why am I getting cramps? 
not bleeding you know so yeah that was i would say that was my second symptom and then i remember specifically a day i was cramping in my back and my lower back like so bad all day and i never i know there's some girls that like actually cramp in their backs during their period but i don't <laughs> And I got that. I noticed, I think I read somewhere that that was actually like a symptom. And I got that for like an entire day. And it hurt so bad. And I was just like, okay, well, that's, um, I was kind of like starting to like, you know, like what if? I was already starting to be late. I was constantly tired, like didn't want to do anything. And, you know, just stuff like that. So then I want to say like around the fourth day that I was late, um, I was just like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to take a test like or something you know so i told my brother i think i told my brother because i kind of tell him everything and like i told my best friend back home and she's like oh you're gonna have to take a test and i was like <laughs> like i don't really like going out here and i was just like kind of like oh yeah i will eventually whatever right at this point i was already very homesick and all this other stuff so i was like already planning to go back home and visit <sighs> um but i just wasn't sure when so I was kind of like, oh, like maybe, um, I was thinking to myself, like maybe I'll just get one whenever I go down there. I still wasn't sure when I was going. I was like, it kind of gives me time to start my period. So I just kind of was just like, yeah, okay, I'll take one. But I, I was just kind of giving my myself time, you know? So then I want to say like I was already five to seven days late. At this point, I was just like, okay, like I for sure... I for sure have to be because like I'm never that late and if not something's wrong with me <laughs> at this point I remember I was at the grocery store with my brother and my dad's girlfriend I had told my brother I was like hey like I just kind of like tapped him because like I kind of had told him oh I'm late and left it as that and then that day like we were at the store and I was like hey I'm like seven days late and he was like and I was like yeah <laughs> And so then he was like, and he looked at me, he was like, tell her, tell her. And I was like, no. And then he was like, tell her. And then he was like, Nancy. Like, he started calling her name. And I was like, shut the f I was like, that's, that's not for you to tell, you know? So then he was just like, oh, okay. I was just like, no, no, no. And so he was like, okay. So he just kind of shut up and didn't, and didn't tell her. And then I started telling myself like, okay, well, I mean, even if I am, like, I'm gonna have to tell them eventually, you know? And I felt comfortable telling her, so I was just like, hey, like, I'm late. Five to seven days, I can't remember when. I I wanna say it was, like, seven days already at this point. And she was like, like, shut up, are you for real? And I was like, yeah. And then she wasn't very, like, mad or anything. Like, I mean, what is she gonna say, you know? <laughs> but um, she was just like, well, do you want me, do you wanna get a test? And I was like, uh, I was like, uh, I don't, I was like, no. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know and then she was like well how late are you and I was like seven days I was like but I took a test and I started telling her all my things I was like I took a test like before I came um and it was negative I was like and I'm only seven days late but you know she was like have you ever missed a period and I was like no and then she was like she was like, well, you know what? Uh, just wait like another week. And then if not, we'll for sure get you one of those tests. And I was like, okay. So I did just that. I, um, I started waiting, whatever. And then I want to say like a day or two later, I started getting nauseous. Oh my gosh. I hate nauseousness. Like, let me just throw that out there. Like, I mean, it's not meant to be fun, but, <laughs> but yeah, I started getting nauseous. If you know me, I love, I love, I love like cheese. Like cheese, is my shiznits. I don't know what it is with cheese and me but growing up since i was little i love cheese then like i don't know for some reason like it started they would start calling us like to go eat and stuff like when they would make to eat and i would go and i was just like like the i don't know it's so weird like just like the smell or like the thought I, for me it was like the thought of eating made me like nauseous and i was just like oh like i really don't want to eat but it was getting to the point where like i hadn't ate all day so i had to eat but um yeah that's that was my other symptom i started getting nauseous and i was like okay yeah i for sure think but i didn't want to say for sure because i kept telling myself like oh you're just probably like overthinking or you're overreacting like you've never you've you've had pregnancy pregnancy scares before but you never ended up being pregnant you know so i just was kind of like calming myself down in that way or that aspect you i was just telling myself like you've never been pregnant before you don't know what it feels like so 
just don't overthink <laughs> so i was just kind of like uh whatever so i would force myself to eat but then it started getting to the point where even cheese was like oh like i was just like what like cheese really that's when i knew there was a problem no i'm just kidding <laughs> but no yeah so then i started realizing that all dairy foods were just like a i could not and like junk food honestly i just i don't know why like i i'm the type of i'm hot cheeto girl you know what i'm trying to say and yeah i don't crave chips at all if anything i was craving more like fruits i was craving like carrots for some reason like just like fresh foods like that like i was craving um i stopped drinking like caffeine just because i was already like kind of thinking what if i am so i just kind of stayed away from like caffeine and stuff like that so then how i actually found out that i was pregnant so there was just like it got to the point i it was like already the next week because she had told me to wait about a week so then fast forward i want to say like two days later two to three days later i decided that i was gonna go back home to visit because i was just like really depressed and like i just needed to go you know at least to see my my best friend and my baby daddy and everything so um so i decided to go back so then i was like okay you know what finally i'm with my best friend i was like um i feel comfortable i'm gonna go get some tests so i went to the dollar store nothing expensive girl <laughs> i got me two tests and I just showed up to her house. We were planning to... What were we planning to do? Well, I decided... Oh, okay. I remember. So, I decided to go back because I really, like, missed home. And then also, her Christmas present was finally coming in. I was waiting for it, like, for super long. So, I was like, okay, then it's, like, a double win, you know? So, I had taken her her Christmas gift. And then she was like, oh, like, have you taken a test? And I was like, no, I actually just barely bought one right now. Because <laughs> I went to a dollar store to get her, like, a bag for her gift. I was like, oh, well, I'm already here, you know? So I bought two tests, whatever. And so she was like, oh, I was like, yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I was like, I kind of didn't know how to tell her, like, can I take it? But I was just like, kind of like, not like it's her house, you know? Like, I don't know. I just didn't want to be the one to say. And so she was like, oh, like, you can take it right now if you want. And I was like, okay. And so <laughs> I didn't hesitate. So I went, you guys, and I kid you not, like, not even a minute later, the two lines popped up. And I was like, oh. I was like what and i'm so mad because all my other pregnancy scares like i had recorded them for the same reason because i knew i would want to make a video on it and this one time this one time that i was actually pregnant i didn't make a video if i i think i had like one clip of when i took it and it was negative and if i do i'll insert it now <laughs> but anyways um that's besides the point so yeah i i took it and you know i was just like shaking so right away i sent it to my best friend because i was like in the bathroom i didn't know like what to do i didn't know like i didn't want to run out there and be like look like you know i didn't want her dad to see and stuff so i was just like <laughs> so i just kind of stayed in the bathroom and i was crying <laughs> yeah so i sent it to like i sent it to my best friend i sent it to like my baby daddy yeah that's how i found out <laughs> so then i came home I'm, I'm i'm basically just gonna tell you guys because i mean i don't think there's a whole point of me making a whole separate video of like telling my dad um just because it was kind of like it was quick i didn't film it or anything because obviously i knew i wasn't gonna, gonna get like a oh my god you're pregnant type of reaction you know so i'll go ahead and just tell you so basically i got back home i was expecting for my dad's girlfriend to be here because keep in mind you i had already told her i was probably pregnant i was hoping to see her here but she wasn't so i was like damn because i wanted her to help me tell my dad because i didn't know how to tell him so then i just set i sent her the picture of like the pregnancy test she was like oh my god i knew it this and that and i was like where are you <laughs> she was like oh like i had an emergency whatever i'll be home tomorrow so i was like okay she got home the next day and i was like yeah no i'm not ready to tell my dad i don't want to tell my dad yet and this and that she was like honestly we like let's just get it out of the way and i was like it's like i don't so let's just do it so then i was like okay so we sat my dad down and I, I I didn't I didn't know how to tell him honestly I didn't know uh, just because um, I feel like they they least expected that from me to like get pregnant like before actually being successful and stuff like that so I feel like like I already knew he was gonna be like disappointed and stuff so I I I don't know I just didn't know how to tell him so i just was crying he was like what tell me tell me tell me and i was like i don't know i was like i, I was trying to but i couldn't so then she just kind of like said it for me like oh she's pregnant 
And he was just like, oh, okay. So then he just kind of sat down. He was kind of like, oh shit, and then, you know, kind of slapped to the face. Um, so he sat down and, you know, we just, so he just started telling me stuff, like giving me advice and basically telling me, you know, I don't know. It was just like a lot of stuff that we talked about, but I mean, that was pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> it was just basically giving me life advice. I mean, that's all he could really do. He was telling me and just stuff like that. So yeah, um... I'm just gonna basically say a little bit of how my pregnancy is going. So yes, like I said earlier, I am 10 weeks. I have already gotten an ultrasound. So this is my baby. Excuse my nose, I'm sorry. But this is my baby. So I heard the heartbeat and everything. I was so happy. Oh, the phone down. Anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm 10 weeks. Um, I had my first ultrasound at nine weeks. So basically last week um i heard the heartbeat and everything baby is healthy thankfully and yeah so that, that, i mean there's not really much to say yet I'm, I'm very early i actually had an appointment today a lot of blood will be drawn out you guys let me tell you when you're pregnant there's not really much else to say i think that's all there is to it honestly i won't know the gender until like two more months probably but i am planning to get or film like a gender reveal and stuff like that hopefully if everything goes as planned pregnancy is no joke you guys let me tell you it's a beautiful thing though so for you teenagers i don't recommend just yet you know wait until the time is right i mean i don't want to condone or anything but you know for those of you that are already pregnant don't feel down girl be happy be proud like you're making a little human in yourself you know I still have no 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 baby bump yet. It's all just my my fat. Let me show you. Can't even see. But yeah, I don't have no baby bump yet. I just saw my lone cousin everything all up close and personal. But you know it's fine. I'll for sure keep you guys updated. And that's it. All right, you guys. So that was basically it. Um, I'm so sorry if I didn't make much sense or if I was just like kind of all over the place. I was trying so hard to like tell you the full train of events but you know what pregnancy brain is a real thing let me tell you so yeah i hope i made sense and if i didn't i'm so sorry feel free to ask me questions down below and i'll for sure answer them like without a doubt um i'm all ears to any video suggestions that you guys have for me please leave them down below because homegirl needs video suggestions yeah if you guys are excited for me just as much as i am because i'm super excited so if you have nothing nice to say don't say nothing at all let me tell you <laughs> no but i'm just kidding if you guys want to come on this journey with me please don't forget to subscribe it's free to subscribe just so you know um don't forget to subscribe like and comment turn on those post notifications so every time i post a new video you guys are aware but yeah um i try to update you guys every now and then i am so excited to find out the gender but yeah i'm planning to do gender reveals so that's for sure gonna be in the making so keep an eye out for that so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye